Hello, it is 4.30 a.m. I'm running really late to get to the airport on my way to Eldoret. Um, the Inua Dada Foundation and my first time stories is headed to Eldoret with Work Her Dream Organization. I'm going to try and vlog as much as I can. It's a jam-packed weekend. I'm there for the night um, and we're going to be visiting high schools. We're going to be speaking with community members, we're going to be having a networking event and a book signing all between Friday and Saturday. I'm really excited. I'm really trying to keep my energy levels up and my morale because I think a few of you are also feeling what I'm feeling. There's a there's just a lot. Um, I don't like using the word gloom, but there's a lot around us, right? From coronavirus to the locusts to... Um, it's frustrating and I'm genuinely trying to keep a positive vibe. So I hope this video inspires somebody to do something and not be bogged down by everything that's going on around you. And I want to vlog to also motivate myself. So I'm on the way to the airport. I hope I get there by five. That's 30 minutes from Kiamburu to JKIA, which I don't know if it's a dream. So instead of vlogging, I'm going to go now and then I'll really try and capture as much as I can. So made it to Elder. This is our host for the weekend, Lily. Hi. She's with Work Her Dream Organization, yeah. Yeah. and they invited us. So we're really excited. We asked you. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yes. Welcome. Great okay, to have you. so we're gonna head over to the hotel, check in, and then now figure out the rest of the day. I believe we start at a school, ooh, start with a school activation, and then we'll just kind of walk you through the rest of the day. Just uh, checked into the Boma Hotel, already threw my stuff around. It's a really nice place. I really love what the space looks like. Look at the view. This is so stunning. Oh. Um, so we're just going to get ready. I'm sure you're wondering, Janet, you had a wig on at home. I threw it off for the flight because I was so frazzled and I was running around, it was sticking to me and I was sweaty. And so I threw this on for the flight and I'll put my hair back on for um, the school activation. So we're going to have a quick breakfast with our host, Lily, who you met earlier, and then head over to Umoja Secondary School. I hear there's about a thousand students and I, I get butterflies because I think I want to create significant impact and I'm just hoping that they will leave the session energized and better informed. More as we get ready. Wow. I think I'm going to change. Okay. Okay, how many are confident to talk about periods? <laughs> are confident to talk about menstrual health today, especially after the work that Work Her Dream and your guidance counselor and teachers have done. How many? Oh, there's quite a number there. Now, you know what our dream is? Our dream is that eventually all your hands will go up. That's why I decided to write this book. I don't think you'll all be able to see it. This book is called My First Time. Now, why did I decide to write a book called My First Time? Because I felt like people call periods all kinds of things. How is it put some period on a some anti-flow? Which other things do we say? Kunyesha. Which other one? Ushara. Ushara. <laughs> Hi, my dear. Unaitwa? Lucy. Okay, Lucy. So sometimes in Aitwa Mshara. Yeah. Because Kila Mta Pata Mshara Kila Mwiz. That's why in Aitwa Mshara. I always learn new things. In a funny Rudy High School. 
So you see, Mushara, I think that one I have to use it one day. But you know something, when we use those words, we're still surrounding it with some kind of shame. We need to be able to say menstruation or periods. So what it is, are dignity kits. And inside them, we have sanitary pads from always. You provided us with pads, 12 packets. There are tissue paper rolls from Chandaria. There is soap from Lifeboy. I also do a lot of work with Lifeboy with the Help a Child with Five campaign. They have panties. And these dignity kits are supposed to stay with a girl for one year. They're supposed to help a girl manage her menstruation with dignity for one year. I have to applaud Gumoja Secondary School. In a lot of schools, on Erica, the girls candle, the boys candle. This for me, please give yourselves a round of applause. I really want to thank the teachers because this is how it should be. We should be learning together. So we came from Omoja Secondary School um, earlier on and then um, went to the senator's office and it was incredible um, touching base with her alongside Lily of Work Her Dream uh, Foundation who uh, we went along with and there seems to be a huge sort of like momentum and passion for empowering women and girls of all abilities at least in Wasingishu, which I think is so fantastic. You can sense the urgency at least. And that's not to say it's not felt everywhere else. It's just we've been here, what, a, a couple of hours, but already just the push and drive from the office of the senator, from the principal of um, Umoja Secondary School, from the teachers there, the guidance counselors, from folks who are running organizations on the ground. Everyone seems to be aligned. And I think that is an incredible lesson that we can take from Wasinkishu County. So we're on our way to Moy Girls Secondary School to have a bit of a conversation with the girls there. Also give dignity kits, which for us is a form of intervention that is still very important as we continue to push for uh, more sustainable policies. And then we'll have a panel um, discussion and a forum this evening. Full day, folks, full day. My name is Janet Bogwa. I used to be, <laughs> I love you girls so much. I used to be, a, I do, I love you guys a lot. I used to be a news actor, that's my background. How many aspiring journalists in the building? This is the face of somebody who's been up since um, 1 a.m. It's now. What time is it? The phone is somewhere here. It's 20. It's 10 p.m. Basically. Whew. What an incredible day. Support. 
na kujua tu hizo challenges ambazo mko nazo na vile tu tunaweza kuendelea kufanya kazi pamoja. So these amazing lads from did I say the name of the school? We were yeah, there, yeah. Moja yeah. Secondary School. Yes. So I want to know in what they, in Eldoret. So I want to know one thing that you learned and one thing that you learned from today. These standard towns, mm. they could be offered for free. Let's say like they create something like, example, like an NHIF card. Mm. So each girl can be given one. Then when you reach your period, you can go to the hospital or chemistry or an available institution of treating. High five. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Policy makers. Let me tell you. Please listen. I will give props. I, I absolutely loved how um, engaging these guys were at what the exercise. So thank you. Yeah, what are your names? James Michael Pio. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. It's our pleasure. Okay, thank you.